Hey guys, what's up? Zeddy here from Danger Studios and welcome to the first episode of Season 2. Today we're going to be showing you how to do three of the most important action effects celebrating the new release of the movie, The Expendables. But anyway guys, we're going to be doing this on a zero budget. All you will need is... Okay guys, you can see here we're in After Effects now. I'm um, just going to go ahead and open up a new comp, just drag that onto the new comp button. What we're going to do is first off, get to the first shot. What we're going to do is go layer, new layer, adjustment layer. So what we are going to do is going to click on our adjustment layer, drag it so it's over there. Then we are going to go effect, color correction, curves. And then we are going to get it selected on RBG, red, green, blue channel. And we're going to whack it up in the middle. Next, we're going to take the pen to, tool, um, shortcut G. Um, and we're going to draw a mask. So we want the lighting to kind of come over here really so once you complete the mask you're going to end up with a nice little solid box rectangle we will feather it in a minute but you're just going to want to concentrate on doing it in all the other areas that might be affected by the um, reactive lighting so yeah let's do that now as you can see that's way too overexposed um but that's just so we can see where we've added it so far um and now you're just going to want to tweak around with the controls until you get a nice yellowy orange glow so now that you've got a nice orange color you are going to want to select your adjustment layer you're going to want to hit m to bring down the mask options and then you're going to want to select each one and you um just feather it a bit so it blends in once you've done that you're going to want to trim it down so it's just one frame long where he pulls the trigger and now I'll repeat this process for as many shots as there are. Then I just added some bullet holes by taking a still image of a bullet hole and dragging it on. And then added a muzzle flare as you can see the barrel in this scene. And then did the same reactive lighting as we practiced before and then just added some colour correction. Okay guys, so now for the explosions. What we're going to do is we're going to drag the footage down to the new comp button going to find the point where explosion happens so you just catch and recover there and then it gets blown back there so what we'll do is we'll say it starts at about there so what we're going to do is we're going to add all our dirt charges so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our footage there and we're going to duplicate it and bring it up top so now suddenly we have none Excuse me a minute, I'm just going to pre-compose all these to call it glass. Move attributes into the new composition, yes. What we're going to want to do is start from here. We're going to drag the footage to where we want it to start. So what we are going to do is we're going to take the pen tool. We're going to start drawing. So now, I don't know if you can see, but we've got this layer of me um, there, and then the explosions will come out from behind me. So it will give it to look like the explosion's coming from behind me. So it will give it depth of field to say that I'm in the foreground and the explosion's in the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to pre-compose um, layer. Pre-compose, we'll call this explosion. So now all you've got is one whole layer. Okay guys, so now we are going to add the camera shake. So go to the point where the explosion first sets off, which is there, I'd say. And then we are going to go forward where the shock would have worn off a bit, the um, shakiness, and we are gonna select another keyframe there. Select both of them by dragging a box over. 
and then what I'm going to do is go to window and bring up wiggler and make sure spatial path is selected noise type jagged is what we want and dimensions all independently then you're going to want to set the frequency to about 10 and magnitude to about 25 26 and then you're going to click apply yeah, so you see there the camera shape really adds some um blur to it Okay guys, so now it's a blood hit tutorial. So basically, I've got this footage of me, um, our action star I mean. Um, he's running, pistol, dazed by the explosion, and then BAM! BAM! He gets shot. Okay, so first off, you're going to want to find the point where you're at to get shot. Then I got a dust element and dragged it onto my timeline. So now it should look like this. And then you're going to want to go effects, curves and then tint it until it's a nice red once you've done that position it to the right place and then i added another blood element from action essentials 2 and i was done Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. What am I doing? I'm not South African. Anyway, be sure to tune in next week where Tiger shows you how to do some of the effects from Star Wars. <laughs> and we introduce a new build team member. And then be sure to tune in next Wednesday where we do another real review show. Thank you, guys. Peace. How do you turn this thing on?